Whatever type of click you choose to use, you'll probably create a guide video to greet your musicians, give them instructions, and allow them to hear the click. I also like to make sure video and audio will be synchronized the whole way through a project. To do this, having your participants snap their fingers or clap their hands with you during your introduction, like this. Let's clap in three, two, one. That's very useful when lining up your video and audio. We'll do this in the next video. I'll be using this final video as a little project and apply the next steps to it moving forward. So the, the important things to include in your guide video, a greeting, a sync point to, to clap together on account, a few beats at least before the music is to start, and you can include visual flashes or streamers to help your players or just leave it up to your conducting with the click. When we set out, send out a video like this, uh, we can send it out in various different ways. We can host the videos on YouTube, your own website, or send the video file itself um, out to the players. I usually do this as a link on Dropbox. In this quick fire tutorial, we're going to create a guide video. Now, there are a few things that you need to include on your guide video. Um, we need a greeting, we need to say hello to our musicians, we need to tell them to start their audio and video recorders, we need to create a sync point where we're all clapping together. We're going to use that when we receive videos from them and we need to line them up with either the visual clap of their hands coming together or the audio clap of that audio spike. Um, we need to explain to them how many clicks they're going to hear before measure one of their music and we need to give them those clicks as well. We can also include visual flashes or streamers to help our players or just leave it to the click. All right, let's give it a shot. So we open up QuickTime Player <clears throat> and let's get rid of that. We open up a new movie recording. And my audio signal is coming in here. Let's let it record for a few moments. Hi there, everybody. I hope you're ready to record today. I've included a score as well as parts in the email that I sent you, so uh, I hope you're already familiar with those. Fantastic. So now is the time, if you're ready to record, now is the time to start your audio and video recorders. I'll just give you a moment to do that. Fantastic. And now when you're ready, let's all clap together in three, two, one. Wonderful. Okay, so uh, you're going to hear one measure of click before you're in on measure one. And um, yes, good luck. All right, let's save that. Guide Dono. And we have a video file. You notice that I clapped at the very beginning, and I'm going to show you why. Sometimes, um, especially with all the loopback things happening, sometimes there is a delay, especially with certain video files. Uh, and so we're going to have to line it back up. Let's drag Guy Dono into DaVinci. And we're also going to bring adaptive final. This is our measure count in as well. Wonderful. And let's just play this back and see where we're at. Okay, you saw it. So uh, we unlink our audio from our video. We right click and uncheck this link clips. And let's find the point where my hands make contact. There. Okay, so I'm going to line up this audio spike with my hands. That's pretty good. And let's see. Yeah, my uh, audio is going with my voice. That's fantastic. So now let's trim it. We move the playhead to uh, where we want to fade in. And we press B for the blade tool. And we click on each thing. Get rid of this. Actually, we can relink these now. And we drag it back. Let's do a classy fade in. We grab that little white nub nubbin right there and drag it over. Oh, 
Okay, fantastic. I'm stum stumbling over my words. That's okay. Come on. Okay, so a little fade out at the end. Oops. Oop. Sorry. And we grab the white nub in. We fade out. That's fine. And let's give them just a second or so to come in. Okay, fantastic. So now if we were to render this out, which we will do, we'll select all, we go file, quick export, export, and we go guide, final. And that'll take a few seconds to uh, render out. Fantastic. So once you get used to creating these guide videos, it's fairly easy to put them together. Uh, just remember that you need to already have rendered out that measure count with the click. Uh, and then you can record your intro and uh, put whatever information in there that you think is pertinent to the performer. Um, wonderful. And we're just going to wait for this to, uh, to complete. Fantastic. Um, I talked a little bit about the visual flashes that uh, you can include in your measure uh, your video and let me show you what this looks like okay here is one let's play that back again okay so that circle is only going to exist for a split second so the streamer is going to show us when something happens. The circle is when the thing happens. And we can overlay that over top of our measure count. That is really, really helpful information, especially if you're holding a note, if there's a fermata or something, you can have a visual flash and not be interrupted by any sort of audio uh, click or anything like that. You just keep sustaining. You see the streamer come across and then the flash of the circle. That can be really, really helpful stuff. Um, wonderful. Okay, we are five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're done. And let's look at our guide final. Hi there, everybody. I hope you're ready to record today. I've okay, let's see. zoom ahead. Okay, we've got Before our sync point. In on. And, yes. and yes, good luck. And we have our measure count all the way through. So that's going to be really, really helpful for our musicians. Uh, it's going to keep everybody on track and everybody is going to know which measure to, to be playing. Wonderful. That is how to create a guide video. There you go.